Dive Coasters Explained The Dive Coaster is a model of steel roller coaster manufactured by B&M. Unlike other roller coaster models, B&M are the only manufacturer of dive coasters around the world. For a ride to be categorised as a dive coaster, it must feature at least one vertical 90 degree drop. This drop is the dive aspect of the title, as riders plummet towards the ground and experience a moment of freefall. The world's first dive coaster opened on the 14th of March 1998 after roughly four years of development by both Alton Towers and B&M. The ride is known as Oblivion and features a 55 metre drop which descends into a large dark hole. Oblivion paved the way for future dive coasters, setting the example of what these rides can achieve. Dive coasters play to the fear of both height and falling. At the peak of the drop, riders experience a moment of inactivity which causes further anxiety. On Oblivion, the fear is greater still as riders see nothing but black beneath them. Dive coasters are distinctive and do not resemble that of other roller coasters. Immediately after the chain lift, riders enter a flat section of track rather than the initial drop. As riders reach the edge of the drop, they pause. After several long seconds, the holding brake is disengaged, allowing riders to plummet down the vertical segment of track. Dive coasters feature two standard angles of descent, either 87.5 degrees or 90 degrees. The smaller angle is common to older dive coasters, including that of Oblivion and Diving Machine G5, as well as mini dive coasters such as Crake, Oblivion the Black Hole and Baron 1898. Mini dive coasters feature smaller, 6 seat wide trains compared to that of the larger, 8 or 10 seat wide trains found on larger dive coaster models. Unlike regular roller coaster trains, dive coasters utilise wider but shorter trains. Riders are seated in rows of either 6, 8 or 10. Each train will consist of 2 or 3 rows of riders depending on the scale of the roller coaster. Stadium style seating is often used on the trains to provide a clear view for the passengers in the concluding rows. Due to the wider nature of the cars, dive coasters feature a larger track compared to other b and models. This has been done to support the weight of the larger trains. Splashdown elements can also be found on several dive coasters, including that of Shikra, Griffin and Crake. During this element, the trains pass through a body of water, which results in a spray behind the train. As of 2016, only 10 dive coasters have been constructed around the world. The 11th is set to open next year and will be located in China. The style of the trains on each ride varies. Older dive coasters feature standard sit-down trains, while newer variations use flawless trains. This enhances the ride experience as there is no barrier between the riders and the vertical drop beneath them. The very latest models include different restraint styles. The newest dive coaster, Val Raven, features a B&M vest restraint instead of the standard over-the-shoulder restraint. Overall, dive coasters offer a unique thrill. The rides are often short, but very exhilarating. They are easy to theme through the use of tunnels and head chopper elements and are relatively compact. During the 18 years that dive coasters have been in production, only 10 have been constructed. Should more parks install dive coasters? What do you think?